Konnichiwa everyone, this is TracerMate21 And today I'm bringing you guys a nice little, I guess you can call it a Storm Connections review or rants Whichever one you want to call it I've been waiting on this game for a while I'm not going to lie to you, 100% happy that it's out um, I mean, despite all of the difficulties that came with playing Storm 4 I gotta admit that I'm extremely ecstatic to like experience this game Everything about it so far has been amazing it's been whimsical it's been a very interesting journey but that aside i want to get into all the details of this game and i legitimately want to talk touch bases rather on just some of the things you know so just taking a moment right now to just thank cc2 you know, for like basically putting in a little bit of effort into releasing this game because obviously we know that we did need some kind of update. We needed some something new in the whole Storm series. And let's be honest, we knew for a fact that they didn't promise us a Storm 5. They made it perfectly clear that they was not going to make a Storm 5. But here we are right now with Connections Out. Taking a look at the main menu, I mean, it's not even... There's nothing too impressive. Um, I mean, yeah, the special story. I'm not going to lie to you. Eventually, I'm going to get around to playing it. So far, I know the game has been out for at least a couple of weeks, but I haven't gotten around to playing it yet. I mean, we have the history mode. I mean, that's... I've heard a lot of negative things about it, but at the end of the day, I mean, screenshots or not, at least it's there. It's things from the previous games. Um, I've basically heard as well as seen that like the voice acting has been a little off I didn't want to destroy my experience so I chose not to play it the collections I mean like you know the collection mode where we basically can shop and you know get our um, customization options and things of that nature for our our um, you know costumes and things of that nature that's 100% cool online battle mode we'll get into that I mean legitimately it's uh, yeah, looking like we got a encyclopedia. I uh, I mean, for the most part, I'm assuming that most of us that play Naruto know the game, or should I say, know these characters. But for any newcomers that's like coming into the game to actually have this kind of information, like there will be times on Storm Four when it would be a certain character's birthday, and they would be like, "Oh, a happy birthday to I don't know Kabuto or." Or freaking certain characters that 100% a lot of people, I mean, I'm not going to say people aren't a fan of Kabuto. I know that there are Kabuto fans out there, but it's just the fact is that just to have this kind of information, you know, out there is not even 100% bad. I think it's, it's justifiable. I want to like go into the mechanics, to be honest with you. Um, there's been a few debates based upon like, I guess the feel or the vibe of how the mechanics feel on Storm Connections in comparison to Storm 4. Now, starting out with the simple controls, how they basically made it really mashy, I guess, making it where the, your character can legitimately combo, chakra dash, freaking god dang on, uh, utilize Jutsu, um, and also ultimates, I guess. It's like, yeah, I mean, look from the outside looking in, you know, yeah, it could be categorized as cheap. Um, would I use it? No. I mean, I consider myself a pro player. Um, but at the end of the day, is it hard to fight against? No, it's not. I haven't had any difficulty going against anybody legitimately on this game yet. That's just me. But at the same time, it's basically, it's, it's something accessible for two, for people that's like, new you know what i mean like let's be honest if we really wanted to sit back and like slowly but surely try to make storm into a competitive game i think that that is not a bad decision to make because let's be honest i do play other fighting games that are in a competitive scene tekken has simple controls street fighter has simple controls there are other games that are legitimately out there that introduces simple controls now is it as stupid is it as retarded as like how storm may have it no but at the very least it's a good starting point for i guess new players so they can feel like they can keep up is it fair yes is it needed no 
the 100% thing is like, okay, now I want to touch bases on the actual mechanics itself. I really do wish that they did bring back the uh, ninja, ninja move into the side and then, you know what I mean, being able to grab. Uh, I hate how they did take away tilts. I think that tilts was a very... I don't know, it was a unique thing, you know, it felt good whenever you pulled off that freaking tilt, like, you know what I mean, like, back in the days of Storm 3, right, um, you know, with Minato, because you know, everybody knows I'm a Minato user, like, with Minato, you know, you have that, um, you do this right here, right here, like, like, you could go, um, <laughs> you could go into Awakening, right, and then you could basically, you tilt, chakra dash, tilt, chakra dash, tilt, chakra dash, and then freaking on Generations, right, you know, we had the infinite tilt, I mean, which was technically a glitch, you know, there's little stuff like that, man. It's gonna, I'm gonna miss being able to do those things like that. But I gotta admit, you know, having the second Jutsu in place of the tilt, I mean, I can't really argue too much on it because at the end of the day, let's be honest, um, to turn Minato's freaking, uh, you know, tilt into his like, well, they added an actual additional action to his tilt now instead of like continuing the combo, it's like a a kickback he does after he initially does the hit so that that i find appreciated and then with itachi i although i wish that they did keep the crows um for his tilt um i mean now he has a matarasu and uh fireball jutsu i think that's pretty cool uh legitimately going into the the ninja tools um, I 100% don't like the guard break peel. I would never like the guard break peel, which is why I 100% only use it for the aspect of style. You'll see me sit back and guard break peel cancel into a switch so that that way it can just look nice and I basically approach my opponent with the chakra dash or whatever the freak else that I'm trying to do. When it comes to like legitimately air dashing, air dashing is 100% faster. I feel like it's it's not bad i felt on storm 4 the air dashes were so freaking slow it felt like a ninja freaking um air dash uh without chakra from storm 3 and actually slower than that i mean i know it sounds weird but legit that the, the air dashes is like it feels like a little bit faster chakra dashing it feels like basically 100 percent the same i mean we still got the thing from storm 4 where you can like hold down and basically you know time it out where you can basically release the super chakra dash and go across the screen um there is an invincibility frame around most uh not projectile based jutsus if it is there i haven't noticed yet or at least um maybe if it has happened i've basically been able to interrupt it with shuriken but for the most part if a person has like a handheld jutsu or like you know for example if i'm coming forward with a rasengan right on that startup frame it's best if a person would have to move out of the way if somebody's using like i don't know kabuto and his freaking chakra uh dissection blade you know, you probably want to move out of the way on the startup frame because it's an invincibility frame, um, or at least, you know, invincible to uh, like combo or to being uh, shuriken out of. Like, you, it can't be instantly interrupted, if that makes sense. Um, what else? So, we legitimately have like everything else is not, like I said, the, the game is the gameplay. I don't really have too many complaints on the freaking gameplay. I mean, I really 100% think that everything is like pretty solid so far. Uh, however, oh, that's what I'm forgetting. The counter system. I like how they did that. I know that it doesn't have that pushback now, and I like that. The only reason why I like that is because I am an offensive player. If you counter, if a person counters and then you're still in front of your opponent, it keeps the fight going. What I used to hate about the counter is that when you countered on Storm 4, it pushes you all the way back. Now you got to work your way back to your opponent. When you counter on Storm Connections, you're still right there in that freaking like spot or whatever. Or if I counter my opponent, now it's up to me on how I decide to attack my opponent. A proper way to counter. And like I said, I play other games. So it's like, like there was also like counters in freaking, um, in what you call it. And uh, Street Fighter Cross Second. I remember that game. Like legitimately, th that's the way I feel counters should be done. And I think that it's is pretty epic and the way that a guard brace or stuns is not even that cheap because at the end of the day you can like react a lot quicker the guard break does not stay there forever and heck even though i don't like the guard break peel the guard break peel in itself like even if a person does that your guard come your guard comes back or your 
movement or whatever you want to freaking call it, it comes back a lot faster. I like the pacing of the game. It feels more fluid. You know, I, I enjoy the feeling of actually being able to play and, and, and actually do something. I mean, you know, that, that's, the, that's the thing I really enjoy. You know, now, do I find this game challenging? Hmm. It's interesting because now I want to talk about the online game modes. Everything so far that I've basically been saying about the game hasn't been 100% like negative, but at the same time, I hope I've basically given my honest opinions. Everybody knows that I basically have a certain amount of bias towards Storm because I really do enjoy and like this game. But I will tell you that I hate the online mode for right now. And the only reason why, the only reason why is because legitimately, this is the whole reason why I did not purchase right the collector's edition of this game because they did this before why is this game released without the ability to kick to invite to do endless or tournaments with your friends why we pay full price for this game where are the modes is going to be dropped soon where are the modes this is the dumbest crap i've ever seen i should not be locked in fights with people i do not want to fight i've been on 26 win streaks come on now give me a challenge cc2 i want to play against people that actually know how to play not these people using simple controls and things of that nature we should have control over who we have to fight no reason why a person should have to be like oh well let's sit here and three two one let's three two one and join at the same time it's pathetic Get on you guys this game because honestly this is the first Naruto game that has been released when it has no kind of online compat compatibility for freaking competitive for competitive mode man there's no competitive freaking nature that can happen on this freaking goddamn on game right now no clan battles no nothing just play just to play if that's what y'all want from this game that's cool i don't like it you heard it from me in conclusion in the future i hope that they do go on ahead and release these modes which we know for a fact that they will but at the same time i'm just hoping that they start taking this game a lot more seriously because honestly as i said before like years ago i mean they know that we love this game they know that we love this franchise i just want them to start taking this game more seriously and I don't want to feel like I get screwed over by the company that makes this game when I know 100% I am invested in it. This is Trace of May 21. Thank you for watching.